I think he might have. Jeez, they almost committed a backcourt right there. Fadeaway jumper, finally, Mike Foster again. Follow suit. Cam was the number 11 pick in the NBA draft. Lofty aspirations. Nice effort by Foster. He's had a Got solid these. rookie campaign, too. Yeah. Big season for the Tar Heels, but help is on the way. The third rated recruiting class. Puff Johnson going to be a big piece of that. Terrific jump shot for Mike Foster on the baseline. It's a great display of talent. White foot is checked in. He just had an offer the Oregon Ducks in the last month or so. Swatted away by Foster. Middle on the wing. You got positional size, floor spacing, and a guy who knows how to play. That's why I think their class fits together as well as any in the country. Dylan Terry brings it at. He'll run the point for this team. Sada Naganya, the number 23 player in the sophomore class. More game than just uh, strength and muscle. Check out what he's able to do here. First, I can shake you a little bit. I can score over top of you with a pull-up then. I can size you up. I can go off the dribble. I got more pull-ups. Finally, jab, jab, three. It's a pretty repertoire of offensive skill for one of the best juniors in the country. Seth Highberry, nice find by Brown, but somebody's got to close the window in here. Foster was trying to find that high-low pass to Maker. Foster on an island, doesn't matter. That shot is literally unguardable. Here's Foster going through contact, loses the ball, rips it away from two different guys. And that's what the fadeaway, I mean, that's an NBA move right there. Luke Barnwell said we try and move him around as often as we can to get him shots, get him looks. Speaking of front court guys who can space the floor, Manker showing his range. It didn't go down, but you can see he can make those in rhythm. That's what I mean about efficiency. That, that ball went in. Another look at it here. Hopping right into that one. Leg kick, hand in his face. Certainly had a long line of top guys. It, Got one right now. Cole Anthony's supposed to come back for North Carolina coming up here. He's That would be a big lift for the Tar Heels. From way downtown. It's a good defensive possession from Hillcrest. Foster wants to lead the break himself. Foster fades away and drains a three. Again, the talent is undeniable. There are just not... I'm not sure there's anybody that Check out the highlight, going back to it here. The big fella, he can shake you, he can bake you, he can step back. Not many guys that size who can do that, folks. There's 15 ranked guys, so I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna conservatively put the over under for NBA players in that game at about seven and a half. And that's a consideration really stretching out that Hillcrest defense. And that's what you have to do when you play these huge teams, whether it's Hillcrest or IMG or Montverde, you've got to create space to, with which to operate. As good of an offensive possession as Hillcrest has had. Here's Dalen Terry. Again, you draw two defenders. Nice cut by Foster. You've got to see more of that. One guy who have the ability to make tough shots, but don't settle unless they have to. Step back, knocks it down. Give him 26 to lead the way. It's like practice. Yeah, just breakdown in communication that time. Scooping effort by Terry, rebound by Kendall Brown. Runs the floor with a little bit of help. Skying in there. Kenny, you, you're not eligible for the draft. So it's a, it's a bit of a contradiction if he's going to try and get to the NBA next year. Basket will not count. This continues. That has been the theme here tonight. Give him credit for getting good looks, but they are knocking him down as well. And a response is a long two for coming out. Got to be happy for Willie Lightfoot. Sunrise on a 20 to two run. They had already controlled this thing and they are closing it off with a bang. Nice three from Foster who moves over 30 points in this game.